Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. I wanted to talk to you today about templates. You know, templates are one of the things that can really speed up your workflow in any DAW, but especially in Cakewalk. And there are a couple different templates that you can make use of. Um, the first is a project template. And as you can see, Sonar Platinum sh ships already with quite a few kind of default templates here. So we've got mastering templates, um, bunch of kind of sample showcases for drums and keys and what have you, um, vocals, guitar. Myself personally though, I prefer just working with a really basic template. Um, I've kind of stripped out everything you can see here. And all I have in this template is the routing for my buses. Everything else is just bare. And the reason I do that is because a lot of times when I start a new project, I don't really know what instruments I'm going to use. Maybe I kind of have an idea. Maybe I'll use keys or, you know, a guitar track or vocal track or what have you. But a lot of times I'm just kind of experimenting and seeing what works together. So in my case, I don't use project templates so much. Instead, what I do is I use track templates. So you can see um, Sonar Platinum recently added this little feature here, Add Track where it either lets you add audio or an instrument, one of your soft synths, okay? And so anything that you have installed on your machine as far as soft synths, you can install that way. And then it lets you choose the input, uh, you know, you split out the instrument track if you like, and choose the output. Um, same thing with the audio, it's got the advanced where you can choose what the input is, stereo or left or right channel. Um, input monitoring and then where you want it to go to. Okay, that's one way to do it. What I want to talk to talk about today though is just inserting a basic audio track. Something that I started doing recently. I just got a new synth called Manipulator and it's really fun. It's fun to play with, but it's controlled by MIDI. And so what you need to do to play with that is you've got to have this audio track, but then you also need to have a MIDI track. And what that does is this MIDI track is going to control the soft synth that you drop in here. So it's not an audio effects, it's actually a soft synth. Like I said, it's called Manipulator. And then what you do is you take this MIDI and you see it already did it automatically. But if it didn't, if you've got more than a couple tracks in there, you might need to go in and, and change the output to Manipulator or to whatever the soft synth is that you're using. Okay. Now, once you do that, you can see on, I've got my little MIDI keyboard here and obviously you can't see it, but I'm twisting the knobs on that and it's not doing anything. What I want to do is have each of these settings here assigned to a knob on my MIDI keyboard. So I'm just going to right click on that knob, detect MIDI, and I'm going to twist the knob and you can see, oh, there it's moving now. Okay. And real fast, I'm just going to do that with all of these. Okay, just going down one by one. Of course, you can also set it manually if you happen to know all the, um, the, the MIDI CC code. I don't. <laughs> okay, and I'll just reset all these to zero real fast. Just double click on them to get in there. This one too. Okay, so once I've done that, that's great. The problem is if I end up closing this out and you know, next time I want to use this synth, I go to insert it on another track. It's going to forget all those MIDI settings. It's not going to remember which knobs I had assigned to which, which is kind of a pain because that's an extra, well, what, what did we do just now? Maybe 15 seconds of setting that up. I don't want to be messing with that every single time I insert it. So now that I've got it set up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two tracks, um, move them to a folder. Where's my folder? Move to folder, new track folder. Probably just call it manipulator or whatever the synth that you insert is. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say save as track template. Okay, so you can see I've got several in here. Um, maybe I'll just call it manipulator. 
obviously you can call it whatever you like. Okay. So now next time, let's just delete those to show you. Um, delete all tracks, yes. Next time when I want to use that same kind of setup, all I'm going to do is go right click, insert from track template, and I'm going to navigate to where I had that saved, and there it is. I click on that, and it comes up just like I had before. And, and just to double check, I'm going to twist a few knobs, and yep, sure enough, all my settings are still there. So I hope that's helpful. To me, I think this is a really powerful thing. And, um, you know, I use track templates a lot. Like I said, I prefer them to the project templates. But that said, you know, maybe you have a certain style of music that you're going to be doing a lot of or a certain setup that you really prefer. You can take these track templates, you know, maybe have five or six set up down here and then save that as a new project template. And next time you go to open it, you'll have everything. So it's pretty much up to you. It's pretty customizable and you can do whatever you like with it. So I hope that helps you a lot. Um, please feel free to leave comments and questions in, in the comments section below. Look forward to hearing from you guys. It's always exciting. And I will talk to you next time.